Welcome to the Effects Loop. I'm Diaz. And I'm Chris. And we're keeping you in the loop of the guitar community. All right, this episode's brought to you by Westminster Effects. Go check them out. WestminsterEffects.com. Uh, it, it, they're just making great things. The Chick fil A is absolutely amazing. By the way, it has nothing to do with Chick fil A, it is a parody. They are not endorsed by Chick fil A, um, but he did get some awesome. What was the bacon chicken things like the barbecue chicken with bacon? It might have yeah, been. like two free sandwiches. Yeah. See, Chick Chick fil A is so nice. They continue to cease and desist and feed you while you're doing it. And you're happy. You're like, oh, except you have to listen to the Chris Tomlin music elevator style while you're in there. Right. Ugh. So, yeah, even I mean, he's already almost elevator style. They're taking it to a whole nother level. Yeah. But yeah, check them out. Uh, I've actually got quite a few things. I've got the uh, let's see. I've got the Dually version one and I've got the the Osteen distortion. We both have that the version two of that. And then I've also got the Luther tap tremolo. Mm-hmm. So they're doing great things. And I'm actually about to pick up the Geneva, which is their uh, AC amp sim which is really cool because i've got the liverpool from tech 21 but the cool thing about the westminster the geneva is it actually has the xlr yeah which is very 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 convenient so i've actually started talking with um it might be playing at a new church and that'd be awesome just to be able to carry a pedal board Mm -hmm. set it down plug it in and then leave because it has a believe it has the cab sim in it as well uh, I believe so. Yeah, because we all need, and we all need more Westminster in our lives. <laughs> so. Hopefully, we'll get around to uh, playing our uh, Olsteins on the. Have we not done podcast. that on the air? No, we have not. Oh my! So we'll oh have to my! Do that next sponsored episode. So yeah, no, we could, or we could do it on the off off week, and we'll just bill them. <laughs> we'll be like lawyers. We're just billing them for our time. All right. No. So, but uh, thanks very much for Westminster for uh, sponsoring us. Mm-hmm. But, and then uh, we've also got our charity raffle still going. If I look at my watch, it says that we've got five more days. You have five days. Well, we're going to lo- load this tomorrow, four days and uh, go in there. We've raised almost $1,200 so far, which is absolutely phenomenal. And I'm really excited that we're able to do that. And I, my goal is to hit 2000. If we don't hit that, I'll still be excited, but go on there and get a chance to win some cool stuff. We've got a uh, woodcutter from big ear. We've got the, what is it? The blue fish, red fish. I'm going to mess that up. I'm going to feel really bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, uh, that just happened. Okay. And, but we've got the DRV from 1981. We've got the psychoterpia from yellow kick pedals. We've got the veil from like my pedals. We've also got some, a G seventh capo with our, with the really cool logo that we're using for this run. We've got string joy. And I feel like I'm forgetting something else. We've got Westminster, the wife cliff fuzz. How could I forget that? <laughs> you need to write down this list somewhere. I'm, well, it's on the website. My phone died. That's the problem. I was going to do that. Even though I'm looking at a computer, mm. you know, you know, think, things happen, guys. All right. So we're going to move on to my short, you know, shortcomings. And Chris, let's talk about some stuff you're doing. I see you actually have a what's news. So that's pretty cool. Yep. So I got my green strat up and halfway running. Um, it produces sound, but. Um, my v- oh my gosh gun street wiring we got wiring harnesses thank you that worked perfect good because but- i didn't need one <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you you might want to enter like i don't think we should i don't think there's a rule against us no yeah we shouldn't be able to enter no we should yeah we'll Plus, probably- I, i've got so many things going on with that thing so what i did was i wired in a kill switch uh just standard volume tone and then a kill switch on off, well on off for the middle pickup. What but the heck? Yep. So, but I don't think that wiring's working because all I really all I get is good job. All I get is uh, 
volume and the kill switch working. Uh, it got everything wired up, but for some reason, like the uh, tone knob doesn't work, and the I can't tell if the kill switch for the middle pickup is working or not because it constantly sounds like it's just in that uh, second position strat sound. So yeah. Well, so why are you doing a kill switch on the middle pickup? I don't understand that. Because I don't. I well, didn't want to put in a pickup selector, so that's kind of making uh, okay. it to where I can either have that second position sound or not. Okay. Yeah. So it seemed like a fun idea. So hopefully I can get it working, or even if I can't, I may just leave it as is because it actually sounds pretty decent. Um, well, I'd say even then you could always get a hold of. Uh... Sean over at Gun Street Wiring. Yeah, he said he'd <laughs> do me one for a decent price, but it's just a matter of figuring out if I can afford that with uh, <laughs> yeah. my... Yeah. No, well, situation. it's really... I mean, Sean and I have been talking to, about the wiring kits and everything, and it's... There's so... Like, there's just so many cool things he can do with them. Like, that's... Mm -hmm. I'm I'm one of those people. I'm extra. I Like, everything... All my wiring harnesses have been, like, a little different yeah. than like i've got my sg has the little kill switch the knobs actually a kill switch mm -hmm. i just hit it um and then my you know my telecaster that we just did mm -hmm. i talked about i think it was on last episode and that's really cool with the contour of the series position so and the raw output so that's pretty cool yeah and then, I mean, and his his prices are really decent. If you think about, yeah, I mean, when you get this thing and you look at it, it's a work of art. It really is, in my opinion, because it's so neat, tidy. You know, one of the reasons why I do wiring harnesses is because I don't trust myself to do it right. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a, I mean, that's a big thing that I, I would love to alleviate three quarters of the headache. True. I'll, I'll pay because his custom shop stuff is where it gets more expensive, but he has basic line stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm willing to pay up to a hundred bucks to, to save that headache and get really cool stuff going on. Oh yeah, definitely. So yeah, I may uh, either take it to a buddy of mine here, or just get him to make me one. But uh, also picked up that 89 Squire strat that I'd been teasing. Um, you know, what's really crazy. What? I've got the matching base. Well, my son does. He got it in a trade. It's a Squire 2. Oh, nice. Yeah. Is it yours a Squire 2 or just a yeah, Squire? Yeah, it's a Squire 2. Yeah, it's the same color and everything. Oh. I need to send a picture of it to you. Yes, you should. Um, in addition to that, I ordered a Wish.com special strat. And uh, when I say special, it was only $64 shipped. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, when it got here, it definitely looked like a super cheap guitar. Cause like, well, you the, got uh, it already. Yeah. It's wish. I thought it was going to take like three months. No, it only took from China. Uh, like four or five days. It didn't come from China then did it? Uh, I guess not. Uh, but like the neck feels like it's unfinished. Um, <laughs> the part where the neck in, is like right above the body. I don't know what that over the neck is joint called. Uh, probably the pocket neck pocket. No, it's not on the uh body, it's on the actual neck. Okay, um, that looks like they just sawed it off with a saw, didn't even like sand it, round it, or anything. So <laughs> it's like a very raw cut, but uh, you need, uh, you need to post pictures of that. Yeah, uh, I need to take some detailed ones. I did an unboxing, so I gotta edit that so we can uh put that up on our YouTube and y'all can oh, snap, check it out. yeah. But yeah, let's do that. I believe that is it for me this week. Um, what'd, you, what'd you get? So, uh, Squatch Design Co. did the woodcutter. So they've been doing limited run pedals with wood toppers and like different paint jobs. Or, but it, it looks like the original pedal just with a wood topper. But they look fantastic. Yes, they do. And I got number one of the woodcutter. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, that thing is sick. I mean, I, I love my woodcutter. I've had one. I've actually, I'm trading it to Cody from Westminster. We, Westminster actually has a trade in program. Sponsor shot, sponsor spot number two. <laughs> Knocked out, check. All right, but, um, it's, it looks gorgeous. And the, the, the wood, 
it's a laser cut wood top and everything and but it looks so vivid and then it came in this nice wooden box it says wood cut wood cutter number one of 15 it's just fantastic hmm. and then uh so you remember i pl- was playing uh the wells yes from like my pedals so i i actually am keeping that okay. <laughs> will lent it to me and then we're like he i let him play with that zoom multi-stomp Mm -hmm. he's like i really like that i'm like i really like this so we ended up we're doing that because he's actually got another one being built right now uh coming from like my pedals okay and uh, and because this casing is uh he did a trial run and he really didn't like the way it looked Mm -hmm. but he's actually we're actually redoing the well we're i'm redoing the casing so i'm he he charges a 45 five dollar rehousing fee so if i mean 45 bucks to get another uh you know designed box and everything is actually pretty cool oh, yeah, Imagine you can just keep changing the way it looks and just have a bunch of different designs mm-hmm. hmm. that's what they that's what someone needs to do with pedals just just do it where you can like change the faceplate right. easily hmm. kind of like changing the you know like the case on your phone and right. all that yeah yeah hmm. i feel like <laughs> i don't know how interesting that would be very uh, interesting be very i feel like i judge someone who owned them even though I came up with the idea, right? I'd, I'd sell them and be like, "You dorks! Why are you buying this?" Right? Like, it's great that you are, but hmm. all right, sorry. Uh, and then uh, it was my birthday this past week, so I actually got some cool non. Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of guitar related. I look at guitars on it. I got the new iPhone 11 Pro Max. Oh, look at you! Yeah, dude, this thing is sick. And I also got a. I, I also got the Apple Watch. So they had a really cool deal going uh, with my cellular company that if you upgraded your iPhone, you got like a $200 gift card. Mm -hmm. So we upgraded a couple iPhones and I put all the money towards a watch. So Hmm. nice. Um, I think that's it. Oh, well, I guess I'll tell the story because I'm going to get it tomorrow. Uh, I, so I ordered a revival drive from origin effects and, uh, really cool thing happened so i didn't realize there's two versions i don't think a lot of people realize there's a custom version which has even more knobs which there's already like 20 knobs on this dual overdrive um but they added more knobs on the custom one and it's quite it's like 123 dollars more 125 dollars more than the normal one and i i went on the zounds or however you pronounce it right and they had the price of the custom one with the custom it's the custom pedal and i went on american musical supply because i mean they're the same company pretty much mm-hmm. kind of like a musician's friend and guitar center or whatever right or musician's friend and music one two three all those are the same company but uh the american musical supply had the regular one on there mm-hmm. and so it was 125 dollars cheaper and i didn't realize there was two of them and i don't think and thing is they didn't i don't think they did either because i asked them to price match and now i'm getting the custom for the price of the regular one. Oh wow so that happened <laughs> so that's interesting but yeah that's pretty much it for me i think oh cool so let's move on to gear news all right this isn't gear news but i feel like everyone should know uh google just or not google uh amazon just announced that alexa is going to get celebrity voices and the first one and i think the only one really to come up this year is going to be samuel L. jackson and they will have an explicit version and a non-explicit version well good like i want to know if like instead of saying alexa you're like all right motherfucker (laughs) 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 Uh, what's the weather like out there it's raining (laughs) it's just getting (laughs) it's gonna be great as soon as it's it's like 99 cents it's gonna be the best 99 cents i've ever spent in my life it'll be hours of entertainment i'm like oh like samuel tell me a joke Mm -hmm. oh my gosh i wonder if i can get it make make it uh read to me uh go the fuck to sleep Mm. Have you heard that story? I feel like I have heard it, but I can't okay. remember it right offhand. Guys, don't stop listening. Or don't. Yeah, yeah. Don't stop. Wait, yeah, don't stop. Sorry. It didn't sound right saying it. Don't stop listening to the podcast. But after you're done listening to the podcast all the way to the end, <laughs> you can go and listen to oh Go the F to Sleep by <laughs> Red by Samuel L. Jackson. And it's the greatest. <laughs> Whenever we had Jude, when Jude was a little kid, we used to 
listen to it to make ourselves feel sane. Because we, we, we uh, I mean, there's other kids. Oh my gosh. It pretty much is just talks about what kids do whenever it's going to sleep. But okay. all right, let's move on to gear news. What's this first thing? Ooh. Gibson launches Cheryl Crow signature acoustic. Mm-hmm. I think that's a really good that I'm surprised that hasn't happened yet. Uh, I guess so. I really liked how it looked when I got to looking at the pictures. Like I was about to skip over it, but then I like looked at the pictures and it looks really nice. So it's a classic country Western Supreme model customized with advanced 1930 style advanced bracing and an amulet M analog pickup. I've seen Cheryl Crow live. I saw her with John Mayer whenever um, I think he was. I think I don't know if they were like co-headlining, mm-hmm. but John Mayer was doing the like, continuum album. So he, I mean, at that point, he was still kind of big. He's not as big. I mean, not as big as he is now. Mm-hmm. So I don't know that. But that was a really good show. She did, she put on one heck of a show. And I mean, that's I'm just really shocked that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> well, now you can go buy one. I'm not gonna buy a Gibson acoustic. I don't like Gibson acoustics. It looks great though. Yes, it does. There's a cat meowing. See, some podcasts have birds chirping in the background. We both have cats and or cats. dogs. Oh, and the dog. Oh my god. <laughs> Not All right. on wood, so we don't jinx it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh Walrus Audio, EB10 EQ boost pedal. Also known as the DEFCON 4. So they pretty much followed J- suit with JHS and just rehoused mm-hmm. what they had before. Yeah. Which... I wonder if the... oh, Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, I'm glad they uh, kind of kept the same styling on theirs, though. I like this a lot better than the DEFCON 4. The DEFCON 4 was very cheesy looking. This is like military esque. Yeah. And like. Actually, I mean, this actually looks cool. Yeah, it, it looks a little better, if, especially for not into that 80s uh, motif that they had going on. Yeah, or that like rapey motif. <laughs> so uh, $229. I, is that the same price that it was as the... I feel like Probably. that's just a lot of money for an EQ or boost pedal. I mean... Yeah. Uh, well, one, two, three. Is it three or four presets? Four. Okay. So I mean, I guess you get that. Yeah, but you have to like. It's not like it's a switchable foot, like foot switchable preset. Is, is it? Yeah. How? It's kind There's of the switch. same concept as the. Oh, I know. Uh, it's probably off one, two, and three. Probably. Is that how? Uh, it says live in preset mode, hold for three seconds. Oh, oh, dang! Thing. This thing's like, okay, never mind. This, uh, well, I, I didn't realize it did that much. Mm-hmm. Two twenty nine is not bad. Maybe I should get educated before I run my mouth. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Sorry, I was like April Fools and y'all. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I mean it's still. A lot. Oh yeah, it comes in two colors now too. It's got a nice, uh, was it cream and black, and then black and gold. Yeah. So, I don't know. I just I like it. I don't know if I could ever pay that much for it. I'll wait for it to go. On Maybe sale. like one eighty nine. Maybe one seventy nine. I feel like I'm haggling with myself. <laughs> two dollar, two dollar. I got two dollar. I was like, no, how far um, do I want to go? <laughs> yeah, how far? <fun? laughs> It didn't sound right. That's we can't make that a new segment or anything. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Hughes and Kettner, Black Spirit, two hundred floor, an amp and a pedal that packs in the features. Uh, this looks you, like a big Line Six DL series. This is so dated looking. Uh, I hope that's not all plastic either. But I was oh. going to say I, I'm surprised this hasn't happened yet from them. If you think about it, not. Uh, they had a couple pedals before, but this thing looks, it looks huge. Do they have dimension? Oh, they have a manufacturer page. It's roughly $900. It's eight ninety nine euro. I don't know what that translates into at the current uh, well, exchange rate. Search Google. I love the right. $984.63. That's close. Close to a grand. Ah, 
But you get a built-in, you get the built-in red box. It, it's a powered speaker or powered uh, amp as well. It's How, not just a preamp. It looks huge, though. Well, judging by the size of the XLR, <laughs> it can Oh my gosh, what? Was that my house? Uh, yes. Y- y'all keep it down there. <laughs> <laughs> Dimensions Gosh. 470 millimeters by 70 millimeters by 255 millimeters. So if you know what that is in inches, oh good my job. Gosh. Here, hold on. <laughs> now, never mind. I'm not going to hit play because I don't know what's going to happen with my monitor. <laughs> I was going to watch the video of Jay Leonard J and see what it looks like in comparison to his foot. So, uh, oh, damn. So was that like 20 inches by 10 inches by 20 inches? No way. Okay, ju- 15? No. No way. Cuz 255 is 10 inches. So less than a little less than a foot. That's still So 740 big. or 4 470 is dang near close to uh, twice as much. That yeah, it is huge. Yeah. No. Sorry. Size matters. We want smaller. I think this is a 200 watt power amp. It's all don't care. It won't fit on a board with anything else. It is the board. It doesn't need to be the board. What effects does it have in it? Uh, Everything. Probably. It's it's Bluetooth controlled. Uh, Yeah, but I don't want to see. This is for someone. This is dad rock. Speaking of dad rock, I'm starting a dad rock band. My son's playing bass. Is that really dad rock then? I'm literally the dad playing rock in there. <laughs> like my son's in the band. Uh, and then my buddy Greg's going to be playing drums. I'm going to be playing guitar and singing. So nice. That's why we're, that's why we're going to just stay in the garage. <laughs> I'm in a garage band. Yes. All right. Yeah. How much a, a grand? I mean, I guess you know what I call it now. If 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 musician's friend sells Hughes and Kettner, this will be on a stupid deal of the day in a year. Uh, Yep, yep, it'll be on there for five hundred bucks. MSRP will be like not a thousand, and this will be on there for five hundred bucks, fifty percent off. That's a five hundred dollar toy right there. Sorry. Eh, Maybe. I mean, if it actually does have a lot of effects built in, that's pretty decent to compete with. I know, but you're stuck with. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if you if you're a Hughes and Kettner fan like this might be for you. How many people have you talked to that's like, dude, I died by Hughes and Kettner. Uh, I mean, they do none. I I know uh, Grant has them in his booth. He does at Nam because they're direct monitored. Yeah, because he direct monitors. That's why. Yeah, but and he's and he, he he got them and now he has them. Why? Sorry, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I, I've never seen anybody playing out with one. I wanted a Hughes and Kettner for twenty minutes because I that's back or I saw a video of Alex Lifeson playing one so i didn't want Rush. it for that i just wanted it because they have the cool light up uh control panel yeah <laughs> that was that literally is pretty cool. it. i know but it's it's a cheesy thing all right yeah. well we'll move on because i i'm not going to sit here i'm be mean i don't know i still don't know about it all right let's talk get this music man i thought we talked about this no no this is different okay mariposa that thing's cool yeah, I like the uh, color and the inlays that oh they have God. in the pictures. Uh, so was that like seafoam? No, that's turquoise. Never mind. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, it's kind of like the Saint Vincent meets a Telecaster. I can see that. Or like meets a, it's like, or maybe it's like a Telecaster meets a Firebird. I think that's better. Maybe, but more pointy. Well, that's where the Firebird comes in. Right. Well, even so, for Firebird. Well, that's like a Jazz Master. That's like an offset body. Okay, so maybe it's like an it's like a Jazz Master or like a Mustang meets a Firebird. I don't know. I like it. That's cool. I hope it's not like two grand. Probably. <sighs> it's going to be because it's a it's a signature. 
looking thing. It's three thousand. No, oh, oh no. Four thousand oh, like U.S. dollars. No. <laughs> but knowing uh, how Music Man does their stuff, there will be a lower model sometime next year. Because I did no, that with the. No, they uh, shouldn't do four grand. That's wrong. There's no way. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, if it's a if if it's a Ball Family Reserve, maybe. Um. I no way. The- I call it now. That's not going to be a uh, four grand. Mm. No way. Unless that's a price, uh, like placeholder price. So we'll see. But uh, this this could be really cool. Oh, it's a guideline out. price only. Yeah. But they'll come out with the lower model, I'm sure, because they did it with uh, James Valentine and the St. Vincent. So I don't want the lower model. Ooh, the black one looks classy. It's got the tremolo on it. Man, that thing's sick. I'm gonna get one. I call it. I've been wanting an early ball for a while. Hmm. You've, you've, able to you gotta see this because it, it's just it. I don't know. It's classy. And the it's got a rose or like a not a rose. It's got a flower pick guard. Uh huh. It looks beautiful. Yeah, it does. It's Wait done well. I like the I like the white one. I think I'd get the white one. This can't be right. What four thousand? Yeah, because I have a Fender, or is this like custom shop? Mm. I don't think there's a ca- Caba ca- ca- Cab ha- Cabernita. However you pronounce that. Yeah, the Cabernita Fender Cabernita. Yeah, I don't think there's a four thousand dollar one that they make. No. Unless it's custom shop. So Google fucked up somewhere. Dang you, Google. No, I think the price on there is wrong. Way wrong. Go to Fenda, David Gilmore. Oh, no. Hendrick Strat, Gilmore. Okay, so this is right. Okay, never mind. Ugh. You have fun with that $4,000. Wait, what is a serious delay and reverb? It sounds really cool um it's got uh for me it's got tap tempo but it's got module and you can change the order and all that good stuff um, i'd highly suggest to go look up a demo if you can oh you can do an effects loop that's cool mm-hmm. um so while i was waiting on uh you to get on i was listening to the 15 minute demo of this thing and it's very very tempting for me to grab how much is it uh 230 dollars that's not bad Mm -mm. the art looks i don't know the artwork is interesting yeah it's not my first choice i almost skipped over it but then i like read it on another forum that it was a delay and i'm like let me go listen to this then yeah. I listen to it and looks, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, it, it changed my mind. It's got an expression pedal. That yeah, you can do some interesting stuff with. Let's see that. So, oh, they their website is very nice. Hmm. Okay, it's not working anymore. Never mind. <laughs> well, it like it let me hover over a control knob and it told me what it does. I was like, oh, will this do it for everything else? Nope. Mm. Okay. Well, lost points mm. there bummer yeah but uh it sounds really cool so i definitely suggest going and listening to it yeah speaking of reverbs so fender released the digital reverb or del- the digital deluxe reverb and twin reverb guitar amps so my question is are these actually like straight on digital or did they do what they kind of did back in the what was it 80s 90s and did like transistors instead of tubes? The, the solid state stuff yeah probably is or like did they like did they just take their model out of whatever their modeling amp series is uh and just throw it in there i have no idea the mustang Oh, yeah, yeah, the Mustang. I wonder if that's what they did. That would be kind of crappy if they did that. Yeah, that's why I was, like, wondering. It's like, you say it's digital, but, like, 
So they use a high performance 200 watt digital power amp to recreate the headroom. So, so let's see. Higher quality. It's, it just says digital processing. Works. It's virtually indistinguishable, they say. I mean, I listened to a little bit of the demo. I didn't really, because that's not my style of music. So I got bored very quickly, but it sounded pretty good. So the my thing is, though, so look at the the price on these are $1,000, are $9.99 and $8.99. How much are the tube? I think they're close. That's why I'm like, I don't understand if the price, I mean, apparently they're light as a feather. You're my keyboard is jacked up again chris tell us those prices uh, this week on the price is right what was that for 1099 for a 22 watt deluxe reverb i don't know which one we're specifically okay. looking at okay and so it's 899 for the digital one okay and what was it the twin deluxe it was the deluxe reverb and the twin reverb. Twin reverb. Uh, thirteen hundred. So you're saving some money. Yeah, you're saving, also saving your back because what does this say? It weighs per Sweetwater. It's light, from what I've heard. Yeah, this is sixty-four pounds. All right, it's not that light. <laughs> I lied. I don't know. I mean, if you what want do you, to carry that, I mean, you're you're taking away the slight unreliability of mm -hmm. tube amps, so that's great. I wonder, does it have direct out? Uh, yes, it actually did. It had a XLR out with okay. a. Uh, was this cab sim and it looks like ground lift and then a separate control a volume control for that yeah so that's awesome okay you know what i'll be nice yeah i'm thinking it, if this I is give it done well two thumbs up. and i guess i really don't care of which way they did it but if other manufacturers like pick this up and not just giving us Here's all of our amp models in like the Fender Mustang, or if Vox decides to put one out, or the Marshall, uh, whatever their digital one was, the Code series. Yeah. Like, my question is, why does it have a standby? That's actually a very good question. <laughs> is it is it purely for that? Okay, it has USB port. That's pretty cool. So I guess you can update. Hmm. I mean, that would make sense, especially since it's like the first batch, like being able to update the firmware and stuff. Okay. But yeah, I'd say this is cool, especially if it, it's under a grand. It's not a right at a grand, whatever you, we want to call it. But yeah, the Lux Reaver. Yeah, that's actually pretty. I mean, it's really good. Mm -hmm. And it is. And it sounded decent. So if they pick this One. up and other manufacturers pick this up, I, I think it could be pretty cool. Just to yeah. save on that weight. I think that I think Scott should get this. Scott or uh, Clifton. Or Clifton. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Clifton's pretty old school. I don't know. Maybe this will convert him. He's like, I don't want a Kemper, but I'll do a <laughs> digital version of that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that way you can kill your back and run direct. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. Listen, I like I want to run direct, but I want to feel like I want to kill myself after I carry you two bam. We've got you. What was like I'm trying to think, what was that super heavy two bam? Wasn't didn't they have like a six by twelve or something six by ten or something like that? Fender? Yeah. That was um, a base amp, I think. The base like some of the old basements were Yeah, the uh, huge ones. Shoot, a buddy of mine had the, I think it was a basement 20. It had four tins in it, and it was almost the size of, it was like three quarters of the size of an 8x10 cab. <laughs> I think, no, it might have been that. They, were, they, had, they, were, they had a huge one that was about the size of a 12-year-old. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it honestly wouldn't surprise me if there was. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Did we know that Electro Harmonics came out with a Mod 11 modulator machine? No. Okay. 
Because I'm, I'm scrolling Sweetwater is what's new, and apparently everybody missed this. So it's the same stuff as their Canyon and what's their reverb? Oh, no, I, I saw that, but I don't think we've talked about it. I don't it. think we've talked about it either. So while we're yeah. here, might as well. Uh, it's got trim, harmony, vibrato, I guess a univibe, chorus, rotary, flange, whatever TZF is, phase, pitch, and flip. Through zero flanger. Interesting. So that's a flanger effect that crosses through the zero point of the sweep where the modulated delay signal meets back with the dry signal modes for both additive and subtractive flanger if plus you, barber pole flanger if you had stopped that would have sounded like you knew exactly like right off the top of your head i know <laughs> phase is choose from four six or eight stage <laughs> that's that's what a phase is i know no, it's actually really cool the only thing that I, I think that eight electro harmonics is missing the uh they're missing the mark. They need to do these pedals in the Pog 2 style. Two oh, like foot switches bit. with yeah. presets. I can see that, yeah. They need to start doing that. Like, stop with this. Stop coming out with a single enclosure first because you're not going to get the same responses doing the bigger enclosure. And you can actually but, and also, the, the, the graphics well. are starting to look cheesy and horrible. They yeah. look like 90s arcade graphics. They're, maybe that's what they're going for. Well, they're freaking succeeding. Yeah, but you know who did Horribly. the arcade graphics very well recently? Rick Matthews with his uh, arcade yeah. astronomer. Ugh. Yeah, I've got the chemist. I really wish I could have gotten that. It's probably sold what the out. Chem the chemist. Yeah, no, the uh, oh. arcade uh, astronomer. Yeah, he just did the arcade works. Yeah, that was great. Okay, I, I think that's everything new in the world. Nothing else came out yeah, this in week. the world. Go it, home. If, <laughs> if sweet don't water look. doesn't have it, that's it. <laughs> yeah, just just don't even look. All right. So um, we we had a cool topic. It was there's an article. I forgot how we saw it. I know. I think was Jason involved in this? Might have been. Yeah, so we're talking about, um, or maybe I think I brought it up, and Jason had comments about it. So I, th or I saw an article. Something happened, and we we got to it. Of I th music in school. It was a post I shared. That's what it was. And my phone's dead, so I can't read it. But pretty much talked about we took music out of school, and now pretty much this is what we have. Talk about music that's popular in the world today. So here's what I want the topic to be about is do you think Chris that since we've started eliminating or not eliminating, but we've reduced the focus of arts in school talking about all arts. Do you feel that the art community talk about music, painting mm -hmm. drama? Do you feel that? Oh, all right sorry do you feel that all of that has suffered um the, the actual comment was talks about uh we took away music and all this stuff and drama in school and now all that we get is reboot movies oh and, yeah 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 that, I, that's what i was actually thinking of sorry my repo like uh i had posted something similar to that but yeah i definitely agree that we're pushing so much for like the technical industry or just you know anything else except for like being a musician being a filmmaker like it's still so frowned upon it seems and are, are you ready for me to go all like crazy yes not not crazy all right so i'm gonna go kind of conspiracy theory with this so it's not really conspiracy theory because i believe i believe a lot of people feel this way but it's i mean it's a tough thing to articulate without sounding crazy um i think that there has been a systematically dumbing down of the population mm. especially in the united states i feel that we have an elite society <laughs> it sounds crazy um, i feel that there's an elite society that is trying to control the government or the you know the united states or the world in general 
and that we're all just kind of sheeple. And I feel that by taking away, um, because if you see one thing that I I feel like you can see a a correlation to is the more involved in our lives, the government has gotten Mm -hmm. the less educated the people have been. We're in a time right now where we are some of the least educated people. When we have so much technology, we have the world at our fingertips constantly, and we use it to watch mumble rap. And I mean, even look at the systematic destruction of entire races and cultures by the introduction of drugs into the world into certain uh communities um stuff like that and and to think that them taking music and stuff out of school isn't a way to do that i mean it's a proven fact that people who are uh more artistic are on in an iq level usually higher Mm -hmm. so if you take away the training of people to be artistic you can dumb them down and they barely know that it's happening look how involved the government is in our school system Mm -hmm. everything is government in our school system you look at the fight to get uh, the fight against school vouchers so the school voucher system would allow people to go to private schools that are not government ran Mm -hmm. that don't have the ability financially to do and it would allow for people to go to the school they want to go to right instead of having to go to the school that you the district you live in that the government says that's all i'm saying that's right okay sorry i will get off the things but so yes i believe that the, the reduction of music in school has led to also our society of the what we consider good music Right. Or what the general masses, the people who aren't artistically drawn, uh, like people who aren't just naturally artistic, mm-hmm. like musicians, stuff like this. We, you know, we gravitate towards um, music that's more complicated, that has actual musical th- things going on and not people just mumbling the whole time. Right. And don't get me wrong. I'm not insulting all rap. I think a lot of rap is great and uh but there's just some music that's out there now that is not beneficial to any human being at all mm-hmm. so dang why well, just i just went like full like what's that guy alex jones i'm gonna start yelling <laughs> the, about the frogs penises or something like that oh my have you seen that video i think we need to get uh somebody else on if you're gonna go on that topic do you have someone in do you have someone in particular that you that we should get on? Like do you have someone like like oh my gosh, you're talking about frogs penises. I know exactly who we need to get on the show. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'll I'll let you think about that and it'll click in like five minutes. Oh my gosh, it just hit. I there know. you go. But uh <laughs> Yeah, I definitely uh I don't know. I, I suppose it could do with the uh, education system but also just what like society is saying like what is cool and what is popular now you you aren't seeing like I, when i was looking up these gear things i saw a couple of articles of like up and coming like jazz rock guitarists and stuff it's like i i haven't heard of any of these people in popular things ever since other than like john mayer who still gets play on played on the radio you know yeah it's i don't know it it's it, it's weird to me that we're not putting as much effort as it's it that used to be there when I was in school at least like you'd always see kids being in band and now I was in band from pretty much f- fifth grade up so fifth grade class they had like recorder class and like the, all this stuff mm-hmm. and that was the first instrument quote unquote even though I mean it's kind of a toy but it is an instrument. <laughs> Um, I played the recorder and that got me into sixth grade. I played trumpet seventh grade. I played trumpet eighth grade. I played tuba mm-hmm. and uh, sorry, Kylo apparently is like freaking out. 
has to go to the bathroom. So, so <laughs> just came in. But um, I mean, I did all the all the way through high school, middle school, high school. I played tuba, trumpet. Um, I did guitar at one point in school. Mm-hmm. And it, it's just we've stopped focusing on that. And I feel like our society is completely being affected by that. Yes. Um, another thing uh, that I was actually just thought about, um, I've been talking with another, it's like, as he's a uh, youth pastor at a church I used to go to, he's mm-hmm. trying to get me to come play for him because he's not being able to find anybody to come fill spots up in his part of town. Yeah. Though like 10 years ago when I was still in high school and up in that part of town, there were, there was, plenty like we had drummer school or we had guitarist school or but now it's struggling to find somebody to come completely i just uh answered an ad for a guitar spot near my house but i mean i'm we're both in tennessee tennessee is a music like area which is also Even, very sad <laughs> huh it's, it's kind of sad that we're such a big music area and there's not much that i've seen like i mean memphis blues is like a mm-hmm. genre yeah <laughs> like you're you know the, the area you're in is a complete genre mm-hmm. and to not be able to find it i mean i don't know that's like even knoxville i mean we've got ut which has a big music program and the appears people post in, in large groups looking for guitar players mm-hmm. like that's kind of insane Especially like sometimes how those go unanswered forever. I know it's <laughs> it's just crazy. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I think that uh, if we don't get music to be prominent in school anymore, again or again, I think that our society is just gonna. Have, if you have you seen Idiocracy? I have not. Watch that movie. That's exactly what's gonna happen. We're moving to a society of idiots. I work with the general public daily and Mm -hmm. some of the things, some of the questions I have to answer are astounding. Just absolutely. What comes in a combo? I work at, I I, I work at a burger place. What do you think comes in a combo? Fries and a drink It's probably in big letters on the sign. There's pictures. (laughs) <laughs> you don't even have to know how to read. You just have right. to know how to look. So I don't know. I mean, and a lot of things, it, there's things you, you learn in music and in art that were, were it's life things that people are patience. Mm-hmm. That's a thing that you're taught. I mean, music, you literally are told how long you have to wait for something. <laughs> You have to rest for six measures, six measures. Yeah. It is, it will take this long. Like that's, I mean, you learn these things and you learn how to, to listen, how to work with other people. I mean, that's like a thing that you have to do in music. And it's just absolutely astounding that they're trying to take that away from us. Mm-hmm. Well, all right. So write your Congressman or Senator, whoever you want to talk to. And, uh, well, go to the group. If you go to facebook.com slash group slash the effects loop, you'll find our group. Tell us your thoughts. Let us know. Or you can email at us. Email us. The effects loop at gmail.com. Follow us on Instagram and go like our page and hook up with us on LinkedIn. <laughs> you, um, and also, don't forget, we're doing the charity raffle. It is the link will be in the description. It is go.rallyup.com slash autism rocks. And you can win some really cool prizes. Uh, it's got them listed on there with pictures and everything. So that way I don't have to mess it up anymore. And then also thank you once again, Westminster for sponsoring this episode. Mm-hmm. Go to westminstereffects.com, buy something cool and let them know that we sent you. If you, I mean, you really should check it out and listen to some of the demos. I love uh, if you go to their Facebook, Cody does demos of the pedals and it's not like praise and worship music. That's my favorite thing because he uses them in a uh, actual like I don't know he plays along with tracks he he'll play songs and it's really cool to listen to it blended in so check that out and am I missing anything else oh our Patreon if you if you enjoy the show go to our Patreon patreon.com slash the effects loop you can give us money and we can say thank you we got really cool wristbands um, they've got 
our name on them. And then on the other side, it does say that hot dogs are not sandwiches because that's the truth. And that's because I have a mic and I say so. So, guys, thanks for joining us and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Every wise negativity always drawing out picture every visualized love energized lies together together we undefeated a plan to make well there's no gloves needed when we weed into the mindset of achieving and believing in community that